Look at this, you got like a another wreath, sugared cranberry. This is nice. <laughs> hey, 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 Pastor, how you doing? Buddy. You ready to cook? Okay, <laughs> you got me a little nervous, a little nervous. Hey, Rudy. Come on, Rudy, you can't go out there. Come on, bud. Welcome to our latest episode of Cooking for Christmas with the Pastor. It's our 100 year anniversary, right? We're getting ready to celebrate yep. that very soon. What, the, all, what we're doing through all these things is we're cooking in a different decade. So we've, we've had the 20s and figgy pudding. Okay. We've had the 40s okay. and a deviled egg showdown. Okay. And today we have the 60s and 70s. And boy, have I got a special recipe for you. Well, now, I'm from the 60s. <laughs> so this is perfect. perfect. We oh, actually no. have two recipes here. Oh no, What two. we're gonna be cooking today okay. is chicken a la king <laughs> in volivant pastry. What was that? <laughs> Don't make me say it again. <laughs> volivant, a volivant pastry. This is gonna be the, the nice pastry with okay. a savory dish in there. Mm. I'm your sous chef, so mm. you wanna get started? Yeah. All right, do you hear that music? Yes. That's Run Run Rudolph. Yep. Can you find a rolling pin? You are run, working with run, pastry, run, run, run. a rolling pin. Yes, yes. Look at that, no way. I haven't found it yet. Oh! Don't get excited. <laughs> Don't get excited. Don't oh, get excited. We, maybe we had too much confidence. I started off with too much confidence. But oh, yes. But you got it! Yes! See, I should be taking notes. I need my notebook <laughs> on this one. Because you're actually cooking. <laughs> Unlike what was happening in the first couple episodes. I ate some of that stuff and <laughs> Did was, you have the deviled eggs? I did. What'd you think? Which one was your favorite of the of the three? Oh uh, the, the salsa. The salsa. So you see, I liked the salsa one too. So we're gonna take the top two so top and two. cut out yeah. And just cut out this little circle. How about champagne? <laughs> A sparkling cider glass, that's yeah. great. These are gonna build up and have this little volcano cavern Yes. that we are going to put A chicken a la chicken. volcano. Oh my gosh, I'm <laughs> so excited. Okay, can I see these right here? Mm. I don't know, we're gonna try it. I'm throwing them in. <laughs> we're throwing them in. All right, oh yeah. Alexa, set a timer for 20 minutes. Whoa. Let's see what we got in here. So this right <laughs> yeah. here, this is Publix uh, Cranberry Orange Relish. Whoa. Limited edition. This is only, this is in the deli only. You have to try it. This very is sweet. so good. And this may sound gross. I don't know if you like cottage cheese. I love cottage cheese. <laughs> so if you put a spoonful of this on top That'd of a dollop of cottage cheese, it is the best snack in the world. This is oh, really and good then orange. This. Okay, now I know this looks like a Tostitos salsa jar. But it is not. In here is the root of all Southern cooking. Uh-oh. Bacon grease. <laughs> Little tidbit. Pastor Scott does not like I... bacon. Of all Feel things. free to shame him in the comments for that because that is something that <laughs> is, is insane. A scoop of bacon grease <laughs> just makes everything better. All right, so we're in there cooking. Alexa's watching, and now we're going to... to <laughs> Um, cook chicken I'm gonna a la king. So you don't even cook the chicken in this. Let me say that one more time. Your chicken for this recipe has to be already cooked. All right, so we're go we're, we got the butter melted. We're gonna throw in the mushrooms, cook them, and then add the green pepper and onion. Cook five to seven minutes. This is a pack of eight ounces of mushrooms. We're gonna chuck them all in there. Ooh. Hey, Rudy. You want a pepper? So here's Rudy. <laughs> so. We drop a little carrot and then he'll be happy for a few minutes until he's not again. You see? Again, carrot time. Again, Rudy is begging for carrot because anytime we're slicing vegetables, he is oh, he thinks away. it's a carrot. Hey, buddy. Will you eat an look onion? At him, look at his eyes. Are, did you know onions are poisonous to dogs? Ooh, this is great. This is why we do this. Okay, so here we go. All we're right. gonna play. We're gonna play a little game while you're getting those in there. Hopefully, I've chopped those sufficiently. Um, food through the decades. Okay. I'm gonna name off a food item, and you tell me what decade you think it's from. Okay. Okay. All right. How about hamburger helper? That's more my speed dish. Hamburger helper. Hamburger 
helper? I think would have been the seven. Exactly correct. That's impressive. Like you one for one out of the gate. How about smoothies? Oh, smoothies. When did smoothies really take off? 2000s? 1990s? 2000s? 2000s. 2000s. Yeah. Yeah. I eat a lot. Okay. Caesar salad. Ooh. 90s. Ooh, 1920s. It probably came back around in the I don't 90s, even care about so. Caesar salad that much. <laughs> yeah. All right, last one. Carrot cake. Yeah, cake seems like a 1950s. Very close. 1960s. So he is human. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Let's check our pastries. Let's just check. Oh! What? <laughs> We've got a little leaning tower of pastry. Going. Hello! <laughs> Looks like the Michelin Man. <laughs> so they look a little rough. Nailed it. But you know what? I think I think they're gonna be fine. The recipe I think calls for roasted, probably roasted chicken. I mean rotisserie. If, rotisserie. If you go to Publix too early in the morning that they okay. haven't cooked them, you get fried chicken. Now. I don't know what could be more Southern American with a French dish than cooking fried chicken in it. Come on. So this is kind of what you end up with, with your simmered sauce. Now we're still gonna add vegetables and, and, and cream to it and the chicken. The cream will lighten then it up. we're gonna put, yeah, yeah that's right. So it's, it's coming along. So Friday's Christmas Eve this year and um, we're going to be having four services at First Four Baptist. services. They're all identical, and we invite you to come to whichever one suits your family schedule best. We are in the home stretch, buddy. We are getting to the end. All right, so you can taste of this. The chicken a la now, king. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Right at this moment. What is it? Right at this moment. All right. Come on. I need you no, to no, no, find. No, no. Come on. What is you? No. Uh, a blender. A blender? A blender. Goes right to the cab. Wow. I I am that's on my hard list blender. And you really you didn't even search through a second cabinet. No, you just no. go boom boom. Boom and boom. There you are. Boom right, boom. There you go. There the piece. Right. It looks like a super creamy veggie chicken, and it's going to be poured over. Well, while that's simmering in there, yeah. we want, I wanted to come in here, yeah. in front of your tree, yeah. which is beautiful, by the way. But we're going to sip some homemade hot chocolate. In 1966, this little publica publication... Before I was born. Before. I mean, let's, <laughs> let's get that out there. Southern Living, mm -hmm. Southern Living yeah. Magazine, put their first jello salad recipe debuting it in their magazine. And this is the recipe. Yeah. And um, my confidence in this being able to come out of the mold is pretty low. This is gonna be a disaster. So we do this. Well, the good thing is we're doing it on your nice table. So. Yeah, that's perfect. Oh, look at that, it's working. <laughs> oh, Christmas tree. Oh, oh Christmas, Christmas tree. tree. Did that take you back to your, your book? <laughs> if you could do anything else besides what you do, maybe show, what would it be? I've thought about that many times and I just, I can't do anything else. You know, mm -hmm. uh, ever since I was, I started playing the piano in church in fourth grade. Yeah. And had a minister of music who took me under his wing. I became the music director when I was 16 years old. And I have really? never since that time not been the music director at a church. What what about ministry is the thing that brings you the most joy? I know you would think it's the music, and that's a high one, but it's not. It's it's the people, mm -hmm. and music is for me is just the vehicle. It's just the tool that God has equipped me uniquely with to minister to uh, the congregation to people. And it can be very easy to fall in love with the tools. Yeah. And then you forget know, about year, what they're for. We had our tools taken away from us during the pandemic. And uh, a lot of pastors struggled there. And, and I even really wrestled, like, what, what am I doing? What am I about? Really because point. my I tools, what I do, the tools of my trade are put in a toolbox for a season. We're not really doing it. And uh, the Lord just really reminded me, it's about the people. 
and um, you'll get your tools out one day. Because you could still reach, it was tougher, but you could still reach out to the people. And we sure. had to, right? Yeah. And yeah. we had to just put some of that stuff aside. And yeah. What a unique time it yeah. was for us to all figure out together. But. Are you ready to go try some try some chicken a la king? So we've, we're finishing up the last 10 minutes of simmering. It smells wonderful. It's so good. I mean, who knew <laughs> something from the 60s would be so incredible? Holds up today. It holds up today. Ooh. Chicken a la king. Chicken a la king. And we're in a volavant pastry. In a volavant pastry in celebration for the king. In celebration for the for king. Who's coming for Christmas? Do we have to pray? I think we should. For all the previous episodes, we have prayed. Well, I think you should pray. This is because would you look at the quality of this? Yeah, go ahead. Once you, once you, bless yes, this. I agree. Lord, we thank you so much for this wonderful meal, for our time together today, for the gloriousness of this season. Your coming in Bethlehem made possible all that we have and all that we are, and we love you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay, so we're gonna do it together. That is very good. Well, I just want to wrap this up pretty quick so I can go back to eating because it is that good. But thank you guys for joining us. Chicken a la king in volleyball pastry mm. with a southern twist fried chicken mm. Mm, with a professional chef. Mm. So just invite Probably David over. Years. He'll cook it for you. Comment below with your address and he'll come and see you. <laughs> Don't comment your address below. But thank you so much for joining us. Have a great, uh, great week, Christmas week. And we really hope to see you on Christmas Eve services 12, 2, 4, or 6. Bon appetit, everybody.